Are you guys interested in working in machine learning and data science, but you're not really sure if being a machine learning engineer is the right job for you, and you're looking at some other roles that could be out there? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top five roles within machine learning and data science for the future. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smita. So when you're looking at jobs, especially within machine learning and data science currently, you're going to see a lot of roles which stand out. Some of the most common uh, sort of jobs in this field include, you know, machine learning engineer, data scientist, data analyst, uh, machine learning product manager. These are the sort of roles which are very common and this is what you're probably going to see on websites like LinkedIn and Glassdoor. But in this video, I want to sort of focus more on the future, like five years from now or 10 years from now. What sort of roles are we going to be seeing in machine learning and data science? If you guys have done some research or read some articles about the future of jobs within machine learning and data science, you've probably heard a really common thing which a lot of people say, which is that, you know, machine learning is going to make a lot of jobs redundant. It's going to make a lot of jobs uh, essentially useless. But at the same time, it's going to create a lot of jobs as well. So in this video, I really want to focus on the sort of jobs that machine learning is going to be creating. I found this really interesting report on the future of jobs released by Cognizant in 2017. So the report is titled 21 Jobs, The Road to 2028. In the report, there is this really useful graph. Roles are placed on this graph in a way that if they are more towards the right side of the graph, you're going to be expecting to see them later on in the decade and possibly not anytime soon. And if they are higher on the graph, uh, it means that they are very heavily tech-centric and they require highly skilled workers to fill these roles. So I want to highlight five particular jobs on this graph, which I think are really essential and you're going to see a lot of them in the future. So that's going to be the data detective, the AI business development manager, the AI assisted healthcare technician, the man machine teaming manager, and also the augmented reality journey builder. Now, why have I chosen these five jobs? Well, this report was released in 2017. And as of today, I really feel like uh, machine learning and also the tech field has really leaned towards uh, AR and VR and also a lot of health related startups have come up. And also you're going to expect to see a lot of tech roles, especially in health as well for the future. So all of these jobs seem pretty new and unheard of, except maybe the AI business development manager. That's something that, you know, is actually foreseeable, but the rest of the jobs, you know, uh, it's, it's not roles that you have traditionally heard of, but uh, let's take a look at what the possible job descriptions of these roles could be in the future. Let's look at what a data detective is. So this is a possible job description of a data detective. When we look at the specific responsibilities of a data detective, we kind of get a better idea of what their daily uh, jobs are going to be like. So a data detective is someone who is asking questions about your data and is asking questions about where your data is coming from. And at the same time, they are trying to find new leads for the type of data that you might need, find new sources for data. And they are also asking questions from the people who are working with this data on like, what kind of new data do you require? You know, uh, what exactly are we missing here? How do we fix it? You know, like what sort of data could help solve this problem better? So that is essentially what a data detective is. Next up, let's look at the AI business development management role. Now this role is a pretty obvious role and I think we are starting to see very similar roles like this in the workforce already. So it's a low to mid level technical role, but it is something which has is already present in our industry and you're going to see more and more of these roles in the immediate future. So according to this uh, job description, an AI business development manager is someone who truly understands the value of 
what AI can bring to your business. And he or she is able to sell AI extremely well because according to this report, you know, AI can do a lot of things, but it is still not able to sell itself yet. So an AI business development manager is really going to help in this aspect. Let's look at some of the skills and qualifications that a typical AI business development manager is probably going to have. So someone who has five plus years of business development, uh, enterprise sales and strategic partnerships experience and also experience selling to Fortune 1000 companies and business level experience with AI and machine learning software problems experience in cloud computing, MBA, and relevant business experience. But the most important thing that you guys should understand from this is this, uh, this ideal candidate is someone who really understands AI really well, understands the potential of AI, and is able to sell AI to a company, and is able to sell AI-based services to a potential client. Having all these skills is what will really make someone uh, a good candidate for this role. The next role that I want to focus on is an AI-assisted healthcare technician. Now, healthcare is going to be the forefront of the next decade because a lot of the world's populations are aging, so this is a huge aspect. So what is the role of a healthcare-assisted of an AI-assisted healthcare technician. Let's look at some of the basic qualifications that they need. So essentially, they uh, for, for this role, they're looking for someone who has a university degree in nursing and also some experience with nursing, strong interpersonal skills, and also the ability to work with digital tools and software. So just by looking at this description, I feel like a lot of nurses currently who have uh, possible experience with using technical tools, they could easily fit into this role already. This job is definitely not AI replacing doctors, but instead uh, providing better knowledge to nurses and also aiding doctors way better by using AI and helping them make better diagnoses for their patients. So this is a very valuable skill. The fourth job is man-machine teaming manager. Now the closest thing that I can think of relating to this job is probably uh, someone who has a degree in human-computer interaction, which currently exists already. However, I think as AI evolves, it's going to get way more complex. And so will the relationships between humans working alongside AI with AI. So these relationships are going to have to adapt to the complexity that AI is developing at. So this job is going to pay, play a really key role in this aspect. Let's look at some of the qualifications of what a human machine interaction manager should have. Well, according to this, they're looking for someone with experience in psychology and computer science at the same time. Now, that is a really interesting combination that you don't often see. Perhaps maybe if you are a HR working in tech, that's probably the only place that you would see a mix of these two uh, degrees. But in this aspect, it kind of makes complete sense because essentially you are trying to find the most optimum scenario for your employees and also machines and your programs and processes to work together. So this, someone with these kind of qualifications would be qualified to write out guidelines which promote good working relations between two of these parties. One of the main tasks of a human machine relationship manager is allocating tasks. So what sort of task should my employees be carrying out and what sort of task is much better for the machine to do, you know, and how is that going to play out? As we see machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, intercepting all different sorts of industries, you know, I think this role of human machine interaction manager becomes more and more important because 
in your workplace in the future, you are probably going to be working alongside some sort of AI. So there is definitely going to be a need for someone who manages the relationships between AI and the employees working there. And last but not least, we have the Augmented Reality Journey Builder. Now, this is a mid to high technical role, but it is way far out in the future and probably not something that you're going to expect to see anytime soon. But just because of the way that um, tech is moving towards virtual reality and augmented reality, I really felt that it was necessary for me to include this job in this list because it's definitely a huge possibility for us to be seeing something like this. If you guys were not aware, Facebook released Facebook Horizon this year, which is essentially social media but in virtual reality format. So we can definitely be expecting to see more of our daily lives and experiences being played out in virtual reality and augmented reality. So this is something that is definitely going to be a huge thing to look out for in the future. So according to this job description, an augmented reality journey builder is someone who can help design, write, create, calibrate, gamify, build, and most importantly, personalize the next generation of mind-blowing stories and in-the-moment vignettes for our clients' trips in augmented reality. Now, that's a lot of words. What does that actually mean? So they are essentially going to be the builders, the artists, the people who create our augmented reality experience, the people who craft all of these experiences in the future. So let's look at some of the skills and qualifications that someone in this role will have. So they are someone who has a minimum of five years experience in demonstrating demonstrated competitive gaming, as well as proficiency with creative language and lingo of augmented reality, experience in hackathons, and also a minimum of two years experience in development, design, modeling, and also exceptional knowledge and familiarity of the latest technology, like Microsoft HoloLens, Facebook Oculus, and so on. From reading this description, you can kind of tell that an augmented reality journey builder is someone who is going to ensure that the step from going from reality into the augmented reality world is going to be seamless. That's not something we have today. Uh, it's definitely not a seamless experience, but as the technology develops and also as the hardware develops, I think this is something that we can definitely expect. And this role is someone who is going to facilitate that seamless experience and ensure that, you know, the AR experience is really well. So guys, those are the top five roles that we can expect to see in the future in machine learning and data science. What did you guys think? Did you expect any of these roles that I talked about or were they completely unexpected? And if so, which one would you like to actually fill? Which, which role is your favorite and which, is, which role is something that you're actually looking forward to even applying to? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching.